Hi guys, it's Ben here and what a huge day it is. What a huge game we face against Hoffenheim in the Champions League qualifier. Boy, I'm nervous. Let's talk about the game. So after that capitulation on Saturday against Watford, a game in which it looked like we turned around to win, we can see the late goal in typical Liverpool fashion, a sloppy one from a set piece. And that just leaves me feeling Pretty horrific going into tomorrow. I have not cheered up really since the equaliser on Saturday afternoon. I was in a crap mood all day. I've been in a crap mood ever since. The signing started coming in. I'm not filled with any confidence in the window, on the pitch. I sh am I overreacting? Maybe. But just the way it all went, just the way we can see it with another Mignolet mistake or Mignolet just not looking convincing at all during the game and the defence, Van Alder not dealing with the header. Liverpool just looking spineless, toothless, no leaders no desire to get ahead on the ball to be brave we just capitulated and that has just set a precedent for the rest of the week the rest of the season and what's going to happen tomorrow night what's going to happen against Hoffenheim when we come up against a team that are set piece specialists a team that did well last season they got a young manager a very vibrant side they've signed Serge Gnabry from Bayern Munich they look it's not going to be easy it's not going to be an easy test at all it's a Liverpool side not high on confidence Coutinho situation hanging hang over our head, Emre Chan still not signed his contract, Liverpool very much in a in limbo, off the pitch, Twitter in particular, social media is rife with just pure toxic atmosphere really, fans arguing with each other, people still want Sacco to come back, people just want to get rid of Coutinho if he doesn't want to be there, people calling for Van Dijk, Cater, Seri, whoever we can get our hands on, there still hasn't been those signings that we were expecting, the Van Dijk's, the Caters, Oxley, Chamberlain that's like is going to Chelsea. It's all a bit of a panic, isn't it? But Liverpool must remain calm, Liverpool must remain assured that they are the better team out of them and Hoffenheim and we're the favourites. We're the favourites to advance from this tie and go into the Champions League group stage and once we do advance, if we do, it's by no means a gimme, it's going to be tough. Will that make it easier to sign players? Is that what we're waiting for? Are we waiting? Do some players want to wait until we're in the Champions League proper before they decide to come to us? Is that going to make us more of an attractive proposition? I don't know. I haven't heard any rumblings of that, but we've seen that with Arsenal a few years ago, and they themselves have left certain deals late. I know Mustafi was a late transfer last year, although that wasn't based on them qualifying for the Champions League, because they already had, but we've seen them in previous years have to do that. <sighs> We just need some signings, we need some signings, we need some results that have to start tomorrow with a win in Hoffenheim. We have to get at least an away goal, we have to come out not with a defeat and am I confident we can do that? Going forward, yes, I think Mane, Salah and Firmino are all going to start and you'd expect at least one or two of them to score. They looked on fire, even Salah was a bit wasteful against Watford but you'd still expect him to have some chances. Mane the same, he was irresistible. Firmino did okay second half, not his usual self. Some people still think we need a new number nine. We're not going to get it. Let's face it, we're not going to get a new number nine. But we do need a new centre back. We do probably need a midfielder, especially, of course, if Coutinho leaves. But first of all, we have to beat Hoffenheim. So they signed Havard Nordweit from West Ham United from 7.2 million. As I mentioned, they have signed Gnabry on loan from Bayern Munich. In terms of outgoings, they've sold one of their best centre backs to Bayern Munich. Nicholas Saul went to the German champions for 18 million pounds. Whilst we are the favourites to win this tie, and of course, tomorrow night on the night as well, we're seven to five, so we're odds against to win the game tomorrow, whereas Hoffenheim are 19 to 10. So it's not by any means a walk in the park for the Red. This is not going to be an easy opposition. We've seen us go to Germany in pre-season and beat her to Berlin 3-0. We beat Bayern Munich 3-0. So can we do the job in competitive action? As far as predicted lineups go, I think there won't be too many changes, mostly for injuries. Obviously, Trent Alexander-Arnold's going to have to play at right back, I think. I think Mignolet will start in goal. Maybe we'll, maybe Karius does deserve a chance after what Mignolet did on Saturday. I don't think he was massively at fault for the goals necessarily, but he doesn't cover himself in glory, and he doesn't play well throughout 90 minutes. So interesting one there, but I think Mignolet will get the chance. Matip and Lovren at the back. I think James Milner really does have to start this one. Moreno was dreadful against Watford. He is a dreadful footballer. He shouldn't be anywhere near the team. Milner should come straight back in. That experienced head. The player you can rely on. And in midfield, Jordan Henderson, Junior Maldum and Emre Chan, who still hasn't signed a new deal. Klopp's been talking about him in the press today. Let's hope that one gets boxed off. I'm not liking where that one's going. I was hoping that would have been signed by now. And then, of course, the Mane, Salah and Firmino trio up front for me. I think we will... I really don't, I think we're going to draw. I think we're going to come away tomorrow with a one-all draw. I think it's going to be a struggle early on. They're big set-piece specialists. They're a physical side. 
I think they might score early and I think we'll have to peg it back. I think Mane might be the difference for us, but I'm not convinced we're going to come away there with a win. So I think a one or draw wouldn't be a disaster to take him back to Anfield, but do you know what? I think I'll probably take that if you offer it to me now. We still await news on Van Dijk. Chelsea are going to put in a bid. We know they are, especially after that shambles that they had at the weekend. They need some reinforcements, and Van Dijk is high on their priority list, along with Danny Drinkwater and Alex Oxley chamberlain who is another one of our targets. We're not hearing any transfer news. We're not hearing any positive incoming transfer news. We're hearing all about Coutinho and how Barcelona want to put another bid in and how the transfer requests have gone in. We're hearing about Emre Chan's contract situation, which still hasn't ironed itself out. We're not hearing about any bids for Van Dijk, anything about Cater, even though the ITK, such as Graham Kelly, is still banging that drum. I'm not convinced where that one is at the moment. And the Seri stuff is just starting to materialise. Ed Aarons of The Guardian reporting that one earlier today. But is there anything in that? I know Arsenal are keen on him too. I'm not sure. I, I just don't think we're going to end up with any more than two players. Um, I think a centre-back is a must and I think a midfielder. I really wanted another attacker, someone that could play maybe across the front, on the wing or through the middle, but no real links. Are we really going to come down to the August transfer window? We never seem to come down to the final day of the window. The only time I can really remember was obviously Sacco and Moses came in late in 2013. Balotelli came in late in 2014. The last couple of years I don't seem to recall anything. I remember Clint Dempsey almost joined in 2012 and there was a big meltdown over us having no strikers left and we left ourselves really short and I don't want it to come to that again because that season we were dreadful and this season, based on Saturday, we're not going to be much better than we were in the last campaign. Something needs to be done and needs to be done quickly. But, as I said on Saturday before the game there, we've got to focus on matters in hand on the pitch. We didn't manage to do that on Saturday. We need to do it tomorrow because if we don't win this game against Hoffenheim, there's going to be a huge backlash and it's going to be a whole season sacrifice, we're going to lose Coutinho and who knows what our chances of Van Dijk are. Obviously if we don't qualify for the Champions League you can forget Van Dijk so the fact that we haven't managed to get him on already is already a blow. If we fail to qualify for the Champions League the season is pretty much a write-off you have to say. You have to say it's a write-off because we're not going to attract the type of calibre of player we need to be attracting and we're going to have the European competition we've all been craving for so long. So I think I've put across the magnitude of the game pretty well there. I think we're going to draw one all. Leave a comment with what you think the score is going to be tomorrow night in Hoffenheim. It's a Tuesday night. It's Champions League football involving Liverpool again. Let's not disgrace ourselves like we did last time we are in our competition. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Please do subscribe to my channel for more of this sort of stuff. Drop a like, share the video for me, and follow my other socials, as Ben might say, on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. And I'll see you next time.